een particulier initiatief voor business tussen Suriname en Guyana en een eerste aanzet om collectief op te trekken. Zo verwoordt Rabindranath Boeddha, directeur toerisme van het ministerie van Transport, Communicatie en Toerisme, de nieuwe magazine Inside Guyaname. De officiële launch van dit tijdschrift heeft op dinsdag 28 december 2021 plaatsgevonden in de bankethaal van Hotel Torarica. Het ministerie juicht dit initiatief toe. Een stukje particulier initiatief om, zoals mevrouw Ang dat zei, in deze moeilijke tijd toch wel uh, aan promotie te doen, zodat er business kan ontstaan en dat uh, en niet zomaar business, maar business tussen Suriname en Guyana. En uh, het is ook net ook aangegeven dat uh, uh, slechts een rivier ons scheidt. En straks als wij de brug hebben, dan is er bijna geen scheiding. En uh, nu al is het een eerste aanzet, of misschien de zoveelste, om uh, collectief uh, op te trekken. Nou, dit tijdschrift uh, richt zich in feite op uh, totale business. Uh, ik heb nog niet erin gebladerd, maar toerisme zit erin. Agriculture, transport, uh, cuisine, uh, handel. Kortom, een... Uh, alles wat in feite uh, samen gaat met uh, business en toerisme en productie zit erin. Um, u weet, het in de speeches zijn ook aangegeven dat heel wat Surinaamse bedrijven al gevestigd zijn in uh, Guyana. Genoemd zijn Assyria, Rudisa, uh, Fernandes Bakkerij. En uh, het is dan goed dat beide landen samen optrekken, samen een magazine en, uh, produceren en uh, samen de promotie oppakken, zodat uh, uh, je in feite een grotere markt kan bereiken en aan de andere kant ook uh, kostenbesparend. I am the, the editor-in-chief from Guyana. From Suriname, Sean Taylor is the editor-in-chief for Suriname. And then we have persons working with us. Um, getting articles written, getting advertisements, and so on. But Sean Taylor and I are the co-editors of the magazine, and we coordinate the work that is to be done in Suriname and in Guyana. And we get a lot of support. When people hear the name Guyanama, they say, ah, very good idea, right? So as we go forward, we are going to be depending upon that support. I must say too that we're very happy about the support we get from the media this evening. We're happy that the media turned out and that you're taking an interest in the event, in the magazine. And I'm sure that as we go forward, you'll be having lots of news. We started to plan for this magazine for the past six months. We were planning. We knew we had to get writers from Suriname writers from Guyana. We knew that the main focus for this first issue would be on tourism in Guyana and Suriname. But tourism is not the only issue. 
it's not just a tourism magazine. There's tourism, there's business, there's sport, there's culture, there's food, right? The next issue is going to focus on the voices of business. Because, as you know, there is growing business. There are growing business opportunities between Ghana and Suriname. So the next issue, we have a feature called the Voices of Business, where we are going to be interviewing persons in business from Suriname as well as Guyana, for them to talk about what are their aims, what they're looking at, and so forth. That second issue will be out about the middle of the year. We're looking at two issues, one in the middle of the year, one at the end of the year. I think it has a lot of meaning um, because it is the starting of something new. As far as I remember, it's the first Guyana Suriname magazine, right? We have, for example, a Guyana Suriname Friendship Society. We have a Suriname Guyana Business Council. But it is the first time that a magazine is addressing the affairs of both countries, Suriname and Guyana. So I think it is an important, it is a historic night. It's a historic night that we are launching this binational, this two-country magazine tonight. Suriname contributed articles, right? There were persons from Suriname who wrote articles. Uh, Ambassador Henry MacDonald, he wrote two. And other persons from Suriname wrote. Also, there were lots of advertisements in the magazine from Suriname especially from the tourism agencies. You know, Shata, for example, you know, that is the Suriname Hospitality and Tourism Association. Shata was responsible for the contributions of the tourism entities. So we got resorts, we got hotels from Suriname, taking out advertisements, and even there's a little write-up about the tourism uh, in Suriname. Good? So Suriname's contribution was great.